Okay, guys, I'm here today with Scott G. Huge honor for me. Guys, Scott is the Judo National Strength and Conditioning Coach and Therapist. And uh, he's really, really good with like uh, injury preventions, uh, how to deal with injuries, mobility, and strength and conditioning. So today he's gonna talk here a little bit about the injury that I had. I had the elbow, I had a bunch of fragments inside my elbow and I had to do this surgery. And uh, the surgery went very well, but I'm not 100% yet. It's like seven weeks in or so. So Scott, if you could. Yeah. I, I, and guys, I made another video about that as well, because when I posted the picture of all the fragments that came out from my elbow, was one of the times that I received more Instagram messages, because so many Jiu-Jitsu guys wrote to me saying, oh, I think I have the same injury as yours, my elbow hurts on this, and blah, 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 blah. So, Scott, what's your... So, yeah, let's switch places. So, I can... yeah. so uh, oftentimes, when we see these injuries a ton, like judo, I see elbow injuries all the time. Um, yep almost more than jujitsu. So the, the thing that stops, like the air brakes of the elbow, yep. are gonna be the tricep, always. Uh, okay. Because it's, it's kind of like the, uh, the quad of the, the elbow. And there's always gonna be pain at that end range, especially when returning from surgery. Yep. Um, tons of scar tissue, but the arm is just doesn't feel safe going to that range. Yep. There's also inflammation in the joint. So a couple easy ways to get yourself back to play. The tricep is going to be your biggest leverage point. So you got to work on the tricep. Dig this out as much as you possibly can. The other one, you have two flexor muscles um, in the forearm, profundus and superficialis. And they both connect right at the base of the elbow, right here. Yeah, while you were, while you were pointing your finger, it hurts. <laughs> yes, so that's the attachment. And and that attachment, when the when the wrist is flexed, can, um, it, it acts as, as basically a UCL. It holds everything together, right? Your ulnar curl ligament, which most jujitsu guys don't have. You put your elbow on the windowsill in the car and your hand goes numb, you don't have one for the most part. And that nerve pops in and out. So you have to tighten this up. So starting to work, flexing this wrist back and forth. So that's first, tricep first, hammer the tricep, and then we're gonna dig out the forearm. And then always we have to restore full ulnar rotation back and forth, right? Because the elbow just doesn't flex up and down. Yep. It also, it has a ball and socket joint in there that rotates. So we have to do that at all ranges, all the way up and down to get that strong, that, that ulna strong in there and the ulna rotators. If, if a good way to tell if there's nerve readout and issues is uh, brachioradialis, this muscle right here. If that's I can feel super yeah. tender, yeah. it means that there is a little bit of nerve pinch in the joint and you just want to be aware of that ice the crap out of it, bring the inflammation down. But um, the front of the shoulder isn't that big of a deal yet. You wanna let this be tight and kind of restrict and dig out the tricep. And then later on down the road, when you need that extra maybe 10 degrees, that's when we start hammering the bicep. But there's just a huge nerve that runs through here. So we don't wanna dig it out too much. Yeah. Let's go. So for example, what do you mean like uh, digging the triceps? Okay. It's like doing a bunch of exercises for the triceps? No, no, no. So like getting a foam roller, like I can do it with my hand here oh, yeah. and like digging into I this it. spot. I got it. I got it. Like it'll be super tender and painful. So I would lay down and lay down slide my a lacrosse triceps. ball and like find with a lacrosse ball point in there that's really horrible. I got it. And go back and forth. Got it. Or pay someone, go in and have them dig out the back of the tricep uh, until it starts moving again. And I've had people, literally, the judo, judo athletes snap their elbow on the mat, go in, work on the tricep for 10 minutes, and have that arm be totally fine. Got it. Um, Got it. And in order to get, for example, the biggest problem I had, I had three problems. One, I couldn't bend my arm. And if I bend it, looks like my elbow would explode. Yep. This problem is fixing. Like mm -hmm. now I can bend my elbow completely. Mm -hmm. Another problem I had that I still have, I couldn't stretch my arm yes. and I can still not stretch my arm. Extension is always the last thing you get back, but it's oh, yeah. the most important. And so those of you who have the same problem have had, right? One of my, one of my buddies, yeah, Phil, has had not... the same thing in for, for years. You have to get on it quick. So it was great that we're catching him seven yeah. weeks after the surgery. Yeah. Um, so it worst comes to worst, you can do something called a passive hang. So you can lay this on a block and put a weight in the hand. Yeah, that's what I have in my Yeah, and just very gently kind of like let yeah. that press and fall. 
I wouldn't advise that as a therapist. I would dig everything out first. But if yeah. you're at home and you don't have access to a therapist, we can wait and stretch things back to level and yeah. then just make sure you strengthen in those ranges. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, digging this out with a roller, just having someone dig it out. And then very, very end when we get, you know, almost completely straight here yeah. where we almost 10 yeah, degrees. Which is far from me. Yeah. yeah. That's when we dig out the bicep. But this arm is, it is like almost 180. So, mm -hmm. no, okay. We'll get you there. Okay. Yeah, so wait a second. So I had two problems. This one, it's fixed. Another problem I had it is that many times my elbow would get completely locked because the fragments yeah. would go inside the joint. I don't have that problem anymore. So the only problem I have right now is that I can't stretch and it still hurts a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is that if I dig in the triceps, work on the forearm, mm -hmm. And also in the rotation. One, two, three. Yep. That's gonna help to get my yes. arm stretched again. Yes. And then and and I mean the last piece, you just stand here, you can see the shoulder. Yep. Because the elbow is locked in that position. Yep. The tricep is attached to the posterior rotator cuff. Yep. So these muscles in here, where yep. all that stuff attached, are gonna be really angry and that drives the shoulder forward. So this starts to hurt in the front of the shoulder. It hurts like, in the front of the shoulder. Like that's the, the, oh, no, the that's, interesting. that's like the ball joint, the, the socket digging into the front. So we have to make sure that the shoulder doesn't rotate too forward okay. while this is happening. Um, and like because of the elbow, the shoulder wants to protect it, but then this ends up being a long term problem too. So I should also work on the yeah. shoulder and working on the pec minor here and getting that shoulder to go back. I got it. Um, no, oh, that's interesting. A lot of stuff that yeah, I, yeah, it's I a lot of. <laughs> No, oh, oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, so guys, if any of you had any injury which is similar than this, uh, and what about like if the person, because you know, I carried this injury for like over five years, probably. Any tip for who hasn't done the surgery yet, Does what they should be doing in order to yeah. decrease the, so, the pain? Yes, um, if you have a bunch of free floating bodies in, yep. the, in the elbow. Um, you know, it's, it's tricky because the elbow, just like the knee, um, you know, like if you lose, if like the patellar tendon yep. becomes dislocated or like it breaks free of the sheath, or if you have bone to bone connection in there, sometimes it's one of the few situations where it's like, yeah, you probably need surgery. But that ulnar rotation that we talked about, yep. getting this strong will relieve a lot of that pain because when yeah. the elbow gets stuck, the only way to move it is this. Every, yeah, right. when my elbows got stuck, I had to massage, move my arm, yep. and shake it. Yeah, and then it would come back, and, and then, then two days back. later, get lucky again. So like getting a band and or like a um, an, a weight at the end, like those maces, the light maces, right. and starting to work back and forth, or a kettlebell rolling it back and forth, will give you the ability to get out of that stuck I got position. It. I got it. No, that's awesome. Yeah. So guys, Scott is one of the the best. Like. Uh, sports therapist and strength and conditioning and mobility uh, instructors in the world and he works with the judo nationals team here in us with travis and jimmy pedro so he has an entire structure at bgg fanatics all about this all about like mobility injury prevention and this and that so make sure to check that out scott g can you pronounce scott your last g. Name? george agnes <laughs> george agnes at bggfanatics.com and uh, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks so much, Scott. Thanks. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.